This group of young ladies, I think, just in how they've matured over the course of the last four years, uh, and the people that they've become, everything that we've gone through with them uh, over the course of the last four years, I feel like um, this group is, is on a mission. Uh, and so I'm excited to be on this journey with them, and I think they're incredible young women that are gonna go on to do great things. I think something that's special about the senior class is that we all didn't come in together at the same time, but me, Kat, and Ebony knew each other from playing club volleyball together in Dallas, but uh, Mirta just kind of joined in, and we all just became really close friends, and I think it's cool that we're all ending our journey together. You know, this class is gonna remember, obviously, to continue the legacy, and you know, this year will be telling in terms of how far we go and what we do. The senior class is special just because I think they've contributed so much to our program for such a long period of time. They all came in and had impacts quickly into our program and contributing on the court. And, um, you know, it's a special group of kids. I think they work really hard. Uh, they got a mentality um, to compete on every play. And I just think that they brought a lot to our program to keep our tradition going. She's a really hard worker. She um, loves the sport and I think everyone, us and our fans, can see it in every game and every celebration that she does. She would do anything for this team. She's probably like the most social person I know. If she just walks around campus, she has to say hi to every other person because, you know, it's guy. But she's also just friendly and genuine and wild and crazy and all just wrapped into one person. I don't know how to describe her other than that, but she's, she's a great friend. It's been fun to have her. She's always smiling and just, just a great person to have within a program. She's obviously made a huge impact. Uh, she's been three straight Final Fours and she wants to win a, a national championship. Every day at practice, you know, every year, she's kind of continually gotten better and better and I think you can really see how that's paying off uh, right now. But we've, uh, you know, to see her kind of progress through our program and grow up, and mature into a, a great young lady. Uh, it's been a really cool deal. It's been a fun relationship to be a part of, and I'm glad that she came here. Mirta is a very sarcastic human being and one of my best friends. I think what's so genuine about Mirta, she's not afraid to speak her mind and tell um, people what she's thinking. I think she's a very good role model to the younger girls because she does what is expected of her and does it well. And I think, I don't know, I think we wouldn't have the structure of this team if Mirta wasn't here. Mirta, yeah, again, Mirta, I think, is one of those really special players. And from the moment she got here, I thought she brought a perspective and a mentality that was maybe different than what we had in our gym and pretty special. And she's, uh, she's a little feisty and competitor. She makes our practice gym, you know, that great, that much better every day. Just to see the young lady that she's developed into and how she has come in and, and just worked hard every single day, regardless of if she's played or not. Uh, and so I think that takes a lot of maturity. Uh, I think that takes a lot of self-confidence. Uh, and I think it shows the type of person that, that Mirta is. She's the ultimate team player. Chiaka, you know, she's uh, developed into one of the premier volleyball players uh, in the country. Uh, she's a force in the middle, um, and she too has grown up a lot. You know, she came in as a very shy, quiet uh, young woman, and now she's a lot more uh, extroverted. Uh, she gives a lot to her teammates. Uh, she's developed into a captain, and uh, she's grown up a lot and learned a lot during her time here at the University of Texas. Chiaka and I have known each other for a lot of years. Um, she's a big reason why I came to Texas. I called her before I committed here and asked, I basically told her I would only come to Texas if I could wear bows in my hair. And she said, of course you can wear bows. So I came here um, and now we're roommates. She just carries herself in a special way and I love seeing that on the court and off the court. And I think, yeah, she's awesome. Ebony, she is just such a light, and I think everyone can see that. How she carries herself on the court is just, um, she's an inspiration to a lot of younger players, I think, and she's a great role model to look up to. Just watching her growth from the day she set foot on campus three years ago, 
uh, to today and how open she is and how receptive she is to change, I think says a lot, uh, says a lot about Ebony. As a group to, to be in and maintain our culture in this program and to achieve the level that we've achieved with success has been really special. Well, this senior class has been uh, very special for our program. Uh, they've contributed so much in so many different ways and uh, you know, continue the legacy of what we've created here at the University of Texas. I think the legacy that this class will leave is that we set a standard that we expect to follow that has been passed down from the seniors above us and above them and so on. I want our legacy to be the class that um, always just worked hard and held everyone accountable. Um, we're all super different and we all bring different things to the table and having that variety I think is really special. Obviously we want to leave it with the national championship but we just want the Texas teams after us to just have this sense of pride knowing that this senior class left behind a lot of pride and a lot of hard work and we just want that to be upheld for years to come.